I think illusions are a part of magic. It's interesting looking at the difference of the definition between illusions and magic and illusions and science. When science looks at an illusion, they're looking at it almost as a kind of a short circuit in the brain, a place where the brain skips a step and it highlights something that tells us a lot more about the brain. In magic, we look at it as a way to exploit either a false assumption or some way that the perception is making you, know, you have false information. Animation and illusions often happen by a sequence of frames. In this one, I'm going to make you skip a frame and it'll look like magic. Watch. Jack? In the box. And I told you how it worked. And it seems like our mind, when it processes the information that comes in from our senses, it has to prioritize what it's going to encode and remember and what's going to be forgotten and put under the radar because it's not relevant. And for me, I've always tried to unravel that mystery of how do you play with that priority system? Because if I can control how you prioritize that, I can make you not see, feel, hear, or smell certain things just because they're not relevant. And that's fascinating to me.